Academic workers at the University of Technology have stuck to their promise to remain off the job until they receive their retroactive salaries. The 500 employees who are members of the University of Technology Academic Staff Union, UTASU, last weekend rejected a request from President of the University, Professor Stephen Vassiani, to end the strike. Academic staff have been off the job since Thursday to protest the non-payment of retroactive salaries. In an update, President of UTASU, Liebert Langley, said the workers are adamant that the protest will continue until the funds are paid. No, the members are not going to be at work because as of this moment, we have not received either in writing or otherwise any indication from management that there is a move to have this matter settled. What we have was a letter that was published to the internal university community on Friday, and that's the last, that's the last communication we have where the management indicates that it is trying to lobby the government to, to hand funds to them to facilitate their responsibility. And therefore, it is still the same position that the academic staff is holding. And the University of Technology Academic Staff Union says while the students will be affected, the members had no choice but to go on strike. I would agree with them. I would agree with them that it is going to affect the students as a, as a major stakeholder in the university's operations. And it is also affecting the academic staff and the other categories of staff. And I would also say that this is part of the responsibility that the management has for any organization to ensure that its stakeholders' interests are managed so that others aren't displaced. In the meantime, UTEC President Professor Stephen Vassiani says students should still report for classes. When contacted by our new center, Professor Vassiani said he had not received a response from UTASU to the letter he sent on Friday inviting it to a meeting. He said the university wants to resolve the dispute so that normality can return. Michael Sharp, Frontline News.